Cowboys coming up on Sunday Night Football. Let's go, I hear the question all the time, you know, what do you do for an encore? Can Beckham pick up where he left off last year? This year, he will have a huge target on his chest. Catch changed my life forever, but I don't think it defines me. It's just a glimpse of what happened. I don't really feel so much pressure to live up to any expectations. It doesn't bother me. Ice in my veins. for the media. I mean, it's sad, but it is what it is, so you just got to be careful. New York is, is a big media place. I'm so sick and tired of hearing about that catch. Done. We're moving on. That light is blinding. Everybody's watching you. I try not to not to let the fame get to me, and you know, I'm, I'm here to play football. I wish you could just wake up and just go be more athletic than everybody else, but it's just not, it's just not gonna happen. Thank you. On a typical training day, I usually wake up around seven, meaning like eight, and I keep hitting the snooze button a couple times. <laughs> In season isn't the same as off season because off season you can load up more weights, you can do a higher workload. That's when you can really build up all your strength and then season you're really just maintaining it. My training is a lot harder for me to explain because I literally do whatever I think can help me. People hit me up all the time like, yo, can you give me some drills? It's like, I don't know any drills. It's just something that's in my mind. Anatomy was my major and stuff like that, so I try and put together what, what can I do to activate this muscle or, or get this muscle firing. And it's usually drills that, I mean, people wouldn't, wouldn't really make you do, so it's just random like I am. It could be like a simple one-legged hop drill, doing sprints. I'll go to boxing, yoga. I'm about to start doing kickboxing. And just do whatever I feel like. is really my home. That's really where I grew up. Make it home Make it home so much around me has changed and, and it seems like life's just moving so fast. Going back home, I can mentally, along with physically, just have my world slow down. I'm a Louisiana boy through and through. You know, I lived in Atlanta and Texas for a little bit of time. I got a lot of family in Texas, but where I really grew up was New Orleans. 504 boy. <laughs> when I go back to LSU, it feels like time stands still for me. Jarvis, I think that's my twin. We met up at um, a 707 camp in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. My bad, my bad. We were roommates all throughout LSU, and we have this brotherly competition. Like, you know, we want to be the best, 1A and 1B, but one of us has to be 1A, you know what I mean? So it's like we always push for that 1A spot. One more, last one. We're going to switch. All right, Odell, you up. What you got? Fear 13. Fear 13. It's the first thing that we do, because when they walk in through the door, I already know what time it is. When they come here, they, they have somebody that they can continue training with, and I don't mind training with them. 
Earl is he's one of those guys who, if you say you want to be great, he's going to push you there. Bro, I know you ain't serious. All right, Dave, you going to do that? Just being back in there and seeing everybody kind of just opens your eyes a lot more to, you know, to be able to see, you know, this is this is how you got to where you're at. It's just never really been in me to be a do you know who I am type of person. Y'all need to turn around. It kind of just kills my vibe. That's the gate. That's where we're going in right, right here. The right way. I'll park right here. And you'll get told right here. <laughs> Tried to do as much as I could for LSU. <laughs> it's a lot of memories that were left on the field and a lot that I didn't get to make. What's up, man? Can't complain, bro. Trying to stay out of trouble. A guy whose talent has spoiled the LSU fan base, Odell Beckham, also known as the uh, NFL's Offensive Rookie of the Year. Odell, how many times have you seen the catch known as the catch? <laughs> The way that the ball was spinning, I've seen I've seen that exact spin before, and I've made a catch exactly like that. Jennings throws sideline for Beckham. Oh, down one hand, hold it in. Put that on a highlight reel and show it. All the hard work that paid off, all the times Jarvis and I were, you know, late night catching sessions, one handed and stuff, and it just finally, you know, it paid off. It'd be 10 o'clock at night, we'd go sneak into the facility, turn the lights on, and we'd go throw for an hour and a half, just sit there and try and make the craziest catch as possible. Are we going to walk out? The juniors and seniors are going to be announced first, and then we'll give you all a little shout out. Tried to do as much as I could for LSU. Well, I think that's why when I came back, people were just excited. Having all the people who are at that spring game standing up clapping for you in kind of remembrance of what you've done for them. Never forget, never forget who you are, where you came from, what you went through. What's up, baby? Ah, what's up, baby? Come eat. My mom and my dad both went to LSU, and my mom was a track and field, so she's fast. My dad played football there. He's kind of the reason I am where I am today. You know, he made mistakes throughout college that didn't allow him to get to where I'm at, and, and he knows it. He dedicated himself to football. I didn't. I didn't like to lift weights. I didn't like to run. He can run all day. My social life was everything to me. So my advice to him was, you know, I didn't miss a party. You don't miss a workout. <laughs> He knows what he has, and he works hard to, to keep it. Well, they got some monster ones up in here. That's that good Cajun cooking. Everybody has their own interpretation of what Louisiana is, but to me, it's just good food and good times. Watch your back behind me. Oh, yes. Woo! Can't get these nowhere else like this. Lord, have mercy. Nothing like Louisiana. Your nose running, though. If your nose ain't running, it ain't good. Exactly. <laughs> Looking good. Feeling good. Feeling good. 
Me and my dad have a very close relationship. No, I say put the food in there. Yeah. I say put all that in there. It's almost like he's a big brother to me, but with the respect, you know, that's your, that's your dad. If I wasn't his father, I think we would be boys. I think we'd be buddies. When I tell you. Yes. Baby. baby. <laughs> when I tell you. <laughs> he's the life of the party. He's the clown. <laughs> He's the real entertainer, um, and I think that's why I just love having him around so much. We're so close, and we could go and hang out all day, every day, and I don't require him to be anybody except Odell. Can you try boy hat now? Oh, Lord. You made him look like poof. What's up, man? On TV. <laughs> Them cowboys. They still won. <laughs> I love my mom. I probably am a mama's boy before I'm a, a daddy's boy. Has it had to be? Not much. It had been since the Pro Bowl, which was in February, that I had seen Odell. My other son. <laughs> my right leg's still smaller. Oh, yeah. It's coming back at yeah, least. Yeah, My mom was 12-time All-American, six-time national champion in um, track and field. She went to the Olympic trials. She found out she was pregnant with me. <laughs> I called my coach immediately. What am I going to do? <laughs> oh my goodness. And we came up with a game plan. How to get through college, collegiate athletics, graduate, and raise a son. And that's exactly what we did. A lot went through my head because of course I'm a college kid. I had to figure out how I was gonna do this, but I wanted to do it. I trained all the way up until the day of delivery. I was in the pool. About two pushes later, here he comes. I literally did take him with me wherever I went. And my professor did not even know that he was there because he was so quiet. I'd take him to class, have him a little strap up, you know, take him to class with me. So he was actually born to be a tiger. Shaquille O'Neal is his godfather. At LSU, me and Shaq, I mean, we were roommates. I met him in Texas at the Whataburger All-Star Game. And he was number 33, I was number 33. And I say, so you, you number 33, huh? Going to LSU, huh? I say, well, we'll see who the real 33 is. And from that point on, we became boys. When Odell was born, he was around and he lifted him up and let him dunk. I mean, cause we're like brothers. So the Godfather, it's a little, closer than that, so he Uncle Shaq now. We didn't all grow up in the same house. It wasn't the ideal family. It was kind of separated and it just, it, it was what it was. Being a single mother is a struggle. You just, you find ways to make it. I immediately got into coaching and that's one of my passions. Um, I told her I ruined her dreams, just joking with her, and she's like, no, you, you know, you're really the biggest blessing. This is a dream come true, seeing your son achieve things that are unimaginable. This is kind of my Olympic dream. Back, Jasmine! Yes! 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 Family really means everything to me. Some of the important people in my life, there's my little sister, Jasmine. She's 13 now, which is crazy. What are you, what are you then I have my stepdad, Derek Mills, which is Jazz's father. Derek was around for a long time and was able to grow up with him and just be able to have, you know, another Pops. The baton now passes to Derek Mills, the Georgia Tech athlete. He was an Olympic gold medalist in the 96 Olympics, so I've always had athletes around me to push me and to keep me motivated. Derek Mills to the U.S. And I think Odell kind of looks to that and, and says, I can achieve, you know, the same things that he did. I can achieve the top level of sports. Say so, hey, Jesse. My dad just had a, a little boy, Sonny, a little SOB, which he always says. I think he did it so, like, when they're playing football and he say he breaks away to score or something like that, they're going to be like, look at that little SOB go. I'll get over there. Oh. oh, man. How was the weekend? It was good. Quick. Was it like old times? Yeah, just like old times. 
I'm just ready to be back, like, to where it's not moving around. It's the beginning of season two for him. And I'm really, really excited for him. What time do you have to be there in the morning? I don't even know. You need to text somebody before you get on the plane. I don't like saying goodbye to anything, so I never say goodbye. It's always see you later. See you later. No, that's... It's like everything just hits me all over again. And it's like, damn, I'm going back to the real world. Not in like a depressing way, but it's just like reality kind of sets in. Supposed to catch a ball with two hands. That's what it was made for. You catch it with two hands. If you can catch it with one, great, you know, great job. At the end of the day, I gotta make the plays for that team. Eli throws a ball, I gotta make the catch. Oh. And he still calls me a rookie, so you know that's that's E. I wouldn't trade him for anybody else. Football is a game like that. You could run the best route you ever ran in your entire life. The defender fall, the safety go the opposite way, they blow the coverage, you can run down the field wide open and still not get the ball. You know what I mean? This is like a team sport. I got 52 other guys out there. We all push each other and we all want to see each other succeed. We The biggest thing for me is just trying to stay myself. Society really expects you to change and act a certain way, and it's just, I'm always gonna be me. I'm always gonna dance around. Uh, I'm still the little clown that I've always been all my life. I don't want 800 signatures to turn into a three-hour event. That can't happen. Okay. Bye-bye. Hey! What's up? What's happening? I want to come to New York with Odell because it's time. It's time to get settled. It's time to just focus on football. This is what else that we need to go over. So I talked to Zeke. What does Zeke say? ESPN. Mm -hmm. Body shoot. Gonna be ripped. Ready? <sighs> cool. And uh, you gotta go over to the Yankee Stadium and hang out with Derek Jeter for like an hour and a half. And that's it? No. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on, so my job here is to make that as efficient as possible so he doesn't have to worry about the small stuff. Yesterday, three times I got a girlfriend. Yeah, I know. You don't like that, do you? Uh, whenever we're together, people ask me if my mom's my girlfriend, which is weird. But that look good now, huh? You look great. Thank you. you. Just like me. Uh, oh, but cuter. Going to Bang Bang, man. One of the best in the city. My guy, he took care of me. Let's get it. And I'm out. this little piece off. Straight. Showtime? Yeah. Right. Uh, Tell me about this tattoo. Just trying to get something for my family, bro. Family of everything, really. The first tattoo I did on you was for your family. Which one? Your collar. It's yeah, your you mom were... and dad. Finish off the chest piece. Now you're finishing off the sleeve. Next. We're going to get you there, bro. Stand up real quick. My little brother in town, pops in town, my family all around me right now, and I've really been trying to stay grounded where I came from. So this one, kind of just that family over everything just always reminded me, you know what I mean? They always gonna be there no matter what. That's even if they drive you nuts sometimes, they're gonna be there. They gonna always do that. <laughs> Showtime. 
Yikes! He never gets nervous. He's a pro. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Then need to touch that skin. I ain't got to do no acting for that one. Promise you that. I always ask him. This ain't gonna take you long. All right, here we go. All right, brother. We'll start slow just to get an idea what it's gonna feel like, and then we'll start rolling along. All right? Music make me lose control. Hey. What do you think? Yeah. I risk something serious. It's always the little needle, though. I know it's the worst, right? Can you take a picture? See the fish? That's dope. Chris is my best friend since, like, really, I met him in, like, third, fourth grade. This is white dude. Some bum I found. I'm trying to surround myself with the people that I've had close relationships with. I'm just keeping as close as I can because, you know, throughout everything that's going on, it's always good to have something that you've always known. We played baseball. He always talked about how he's better than me, but he never. Mud, what was our team? Mudbug Surface. Mudbug Surface. I've known him for some time now. I keep him around. People always say, man, I read articles like, what can he do? Can't play me in FIFA. Wow. He can't ping pong, hell no. Ping pong, the record's five to Tennis. He's up. Obviously. Tennis, I can't beat him, but FIFA is not even. He's little brother, you know what I mean? You know when somebody's just little brother, like they can't can't really do much. He's always had like, I, wanna, I don't, I don't want to say like a chip on his shoulder, but he always knew. And I always was like in the back of my head like, man, this dude's blowing his smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Since we were young, but he was, on point, everything he said came true, like basically to the T. So hats off for that. Hold up. Do you want me to fill these gaps black and top edge white? Whatever you think's better. It's cool to see how it is now, but it's never, it never really gets to be how it used to be. It's never gonna be the same. It's never gonna be the same. Slay, you good back. All right, man, that's it. Family over everything. Family over everything. Oh, have mercy. Whoa, whoa, now. What's good with it? Chilling, bro. I can't call it, you know. Just camp life. <laughs> How you holding up? How the hair string? It's straight now, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm getting right. I'm about to get fast like you, boy. Oh, yeah, Pop, say what's down. What's down, baby? What's down, Pop? What's up? I see you. I'm trying to come out to New York sometime. We could definitely do something, bro. If you want to come up here, you know you got a nice place to stay. I got a little closet for you with some clothes, some shoes. Your foot a little big, but look, we can squeeze. We about to squeeze. <laughs> I already know it, but I was just trying to hit you up right quick, see what you was doing. Let you go on about your business, handle that. Say no more, fam. Say no more. Be blessed. Always love you, blood. Love you too, baby. Jay Lee. My oh. other son. He may be the Giants' catch, but he has yet to make one since last year, going into game three of the preseason. I'm in a position right now where I'm still trying to figure out how to be myself and and also lead other people. Because I've always been a leader, but I've led through actions. You know, I haven't led through words. So I'm trying to trying to figure figure that out. Still no game-changing plays so far in the preseason for Rodell Beckham Jr. I've had to learn that I'm getting older, so I can't just get out on the field and just run around without warming up. So I, I find myself typically exerting a lot of energy in a warm up just so I can get my body going, and that way I know I'll be ready for the game. I'm trying to keep up with him. 
looking for like the small things, like how quick and reactive that his legs are. Where's his head? Is it chin up, chin down? As long as he stays active, he's gonna be good. That's the coach talking. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. changed the game. He's going to be a savage this year. My favorite player. He's a great role model, and he's one of the best receivers that ever played the game. There's always that little bit of me that gets nervous right before a game. I want to succeed so bad, and I, I, I fear more not succeeding than just being nervous to actually play. It's just something that eats me up every single day of, about how bad I want success. It's something that I think about all the time. Odell Beckham Jr., his first catch of the preseason. This kid will compete no matter who he's playing against. My style of play is not my style of play. Like, I didn't learn how to play just by me. I watched Jerry Rice. I watched the Chris Carters. I watched the Randy Moss. I watched all these guys, and I took bits and pieces of their work and brought it all into one and molded it into who I am. That's how you develop. That's how you get better. Odell Beckham Jr. makes a one-handed catch on Revis World incomplete. He doesn't give up on any play, Odell Beckham. Hey, all right, so when we get in, we're talking, when we get in the, like, second and 17, you all think it runs? They are. That's crazy to me. If I'm playing mad, and we, it's second and, if I'm playing mad, I'm playing like, <laughs> Gets pressure to four. Odell Beckham Jr. makes the catch. It's good to see the timing between he and Eli. A little too big. My foot feels like it's sliding around. If you have any days, like the one Derek got, like the one Corey got on, if y'all got any 11 and a half. What, in that? Yeah. I'll see what we got. Like. I'll, I'll talk All to right. Joe right now. Giants getting positive plays here. Here's Odell Beckham. And he makes the catch at the 41-yard line. You finally got something going offensively tonight. You caught five passes. What did you think of the offense? Um, we're getting better. A lot of little niches that need to get worked out, but um, overall, I think we did pretty good today. Good luck with your second season. It'll be interesting to see what you do for an entrepreneur, Odell. I appreciate it. Thank you. This is really a time where I can get into my own mind. And obviously, it's physical pain. You know, it's not something that's easy. And you sit there, and you just get to reflect on things. And that's really where I get deep into my thoughts. Sorry. How's it going? You doing well? Did you fall asleep? No. Is there anything that she can do for? No. No? Yeah, this is done. good, but it's still going to take time. Oh, how much time? Will the swelling go down? How long has it been? What's happened Tuesday? Yeah, it's going to probably be a little while. OK. <laughs> yeah, at least, you know, a good week. So you have to wait for it to go down? First. Yeah, I mean, what I can do now is surround the area. I can't go into where it's mm -hmm. swollen, but I can go around here and here, and then it's ice, ice, ice. OK. Oh, Stan, I forgot to use that show though. Last time I woke up at one, stuck to my blue. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting like Marvin. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. go make it happen. Try not to let the fire alarms go off. Yeah. <laughs> Peace out. Oh, Thank you. Don't catch no goo. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, 
the crown on there. Thank you, baby. Oh my goodness, it is gorgeous. What's the symbol? Besides queen. being Tigress Queen. So you're saying I'm the queen? Mm-hmm. No, it's just because you just graduated. I recently graduated from LSU with my master's. And recently graduated before I did. Um, Two times. Twice now. <laughs> Odell is 12 hours away from graduating. He's really, really, really smart. People misunderstand his hype that he likes to bring when he puts on his helmet. He was really a great math student. He likes the game of chess. He also speaks Chinese, and I don't think anybody knows that. No, I'm just, I'm proud of you. Thank you. So sweet. Thank you for thinking of me. Always. Always. It's not working, Brett. It's just the toss. Good, not too high. Nice, that's very nice. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him in the uh, top of that. Ow! Odell and I are constantly competing. He tries to flex and show how strong he is, and I try to flex and show him how strong that I am. You got that steel? I really like your hair. What's going on with it? Mm. Okay, see if you can push up. She's got that competitive drive, and I know I get a lot of that from her. Push up. I'm strong. Hey, let's do it again. I recall he was in ninth grade. He's like, I'm gonna beat you in a race. I said, sure, let's go. And he just took off, and I remember prior to that, I was whooping him. It was not a problem. And this is one time when he got me. <laughs> it pissed me off. <laughs> she still can't beat me. Let's go! Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. Yeah. Crawfish, baby. All right. We got good. these crawfish, baby, all the way from the boot. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. make it feel like home, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what they taste like a little something. Mm -hmm. Not bad to be all the way up in New York City, boss. That's what I'm saying, boss. Uh -huh. Make it feel like home, baby. Before you get back to work, as long as you I'm healthy, excited about this year. I know you are, because you're healthy. Yeah. From the jump. <laughs> you've been working hard. You've been working hard. You got your body right. You're putting this spicy ass corn into it. <clears throat> Year two, still a rookie, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I think they're looking for you to do more than that rookie did. What is he going to do now that he had a full camp under him? <laughs> they just need something else to talk about. Limitless expectations. Well, I can tell you what he's going to do. He's going to do what he did last year and some. You know, I've been trying to kill. I know. Your ham looks you know, good. Yeah, you know, I don't like good. sitting out. Man. I know. I ain't never missed no practice. Before Giants, I ain't never missed practice. Yeah. When I was at LSU, if I missed a practice, it was something. I like practice. I, matter of fact, Coach, let me get all those reps. I said, whoever guard him, they better have their oxygen mask, because he run all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> don't get tired. Don't get tired. People are going to be expecting a whole lot. They're going to expect one hand catches. You only do one hand catches if it's necessary. You were taught to catch with two hands. Funny hands, guys. hands, hands, hands. <laughs> <laughs> Top that. Top last year. There's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. Can you handle it? Can you handle it? <laughs> nah, I can't sneak under the radar. I, I know that. You ain't going to sneak up on nobody. They double teamed you last year. Everyone in the NFL, that is their game plan, is to stop him. It's all focused on that one play, and I don't think that that one play uh, made him who he is as far as a threat to a defense. Now it's just a lot more attention around it, more eyes watching. I can't even go to Walmart to get pop toys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm not gonna let that affect what I love doing or like what I gotta do on the field. Just play ball. You set the standard again. You elevate the bar, and then it's like, you got to keep raising it and raising it and raising it. Back to work. Back to Shock work. Shock the world. 
I'm just excited to be able to open up the season, especially against um, a team that's really good and a team that's in the division and being able to go down to Dallas um, and, and start off the season uh, the right way. What's up, babe? Getting ready for that game, huh? Yeah, you know everybody in Texas, baby. They looking forward to it, you know? But you here, you getting ready? Yeah, I'm about to go pass over there in a minute. All right, if you talk to him, tell him I said, hey, you know what he got to do. That's it. You know, it's a lot of pressure on him, you know? Nah, there ain't no pressure, baby. He's no, up, baby. that's it, no that's pressure. it, that's it. There ain't, no, there ain't no pressure. I see you looking, looking good, babe. As always, <laughs> you, look at you, look at you, huh? I'm trying to get where you at. Nah, you don't want to be this big time. <laughs> Alrighty, man. Much love, boy. Love you, boy. Love you too, man. Sure. Later. All right, peace. Peace. Nobody ever top that, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Now who you pulling for today? OJ Beckham. But the Dallas Cowboys still my man. <laughs> Family, I just want to thank you for coming, for all of your love, support, and prayers throughout all of these years. It's a true testament to what family truly and honestly means. We're maybe not together all the time, but we pray for each other, and that's what it's all about, and it's how we raise our kids to love. So let's go make some history and have a great time. That's it. OBJ! 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 Family over everything to me is, it's important to keep that established, you know? This is the reason I didn't do it. OBJ! What's up, baby? Uh -huh. He looks so open, like everything is just firing right now. He looks really, really good. You ready, babe? When he's on a big stage, when the world is watching him, something clicks. And I think that's when he's at his best. Let's make a statement today. Destroy everything that ain't got this blue on. Turn it on three, one, two, three. Yes! But there's a certain edge on the field. It's like my mind just goes blank. Sounds cheesy, but like I just felt like a like a Spartan, like on the field. Whatever was in my way, I was gonna try and kill it. Short game, Beckham. Good toss, Beckham. I may have created a lot more enemies throughout the league, that, that's part of the game. I definitely would say that I'll, I'll have a target on my back. The Cowboys are gonna leave those two safeties in the middle of the field, and that takes away some of the opportunities for Beckham. Romo takes the snap, bobbled the snap, picks it back up, looks, throws to the end zone, touchdown win! And they beat the Giants 27-26. I think this team is, is gonna do tremendous things this year, and. You know, there's just there's little things that we need to clean up, things that um, we all need to work on, and 
um, you know, looking forward to doing that and, and executing this week. If I were to leave this earth tomorrow, I'd want to be like, I did everything that I wanted to do. I do think that I will be a Hall of Famer. You have to speak that way to yourself. That way you think that way. It's a mindset that I have, like, that's what I want. At the end of the day, that's the goal in mind. When they talk about the Jerry Rice's, Randy Moss, Chris Carter's, hopefully if I play for 20 years, I want them to be able to put me in that conversation and say, you know, well. What about Odell Beckham Jr.? If the Dallas game was any indication of Beckham's second act, gotta say.